back in 2019 we started the 61 and then a couple of years later it was a 65. It was run by another bus company at the time, both of them, um, who gave it up and then the council wanted to find another bus company to operate them but nobody came forward so we stepped forward as Torbay Communities to run the services and help out the local community. Well this route is valued by the by there's quite a few regulars and if they lost the route they'd miss it but as it's been taken over by Torbay Mini Buses so they aren't going to lose anything which is a valued route. I'm sorry to see our oh, buses go because they're nice people, nice drivers and uh, yeah it'll be a shame to see them go but if the route's been taken over by another company that, that's great. A lot of the people are stuck up on top of a hill so Torquay is wonderful it's got all these hills everywhere um, so a lot of the people are stuck on a hill with no transport and socially isolated so the fact that we've been able to help them get in and out of town see friends make medical appointments all that kind of thing is just massive difference. Without any funding from anywhere at the time when we first started them we ran on a subscription basis so we really relied on the support of the passengers to pay that subscription so we can continue running the buses um, but more recently we've had a subsidy from the local council so that's helped us in more recent years since Covid. Our services finish at the end of this month so today and tomorrow will be the last service for the 61 and the 65 and then as of next month it will be the new operator that comes in and operates both of the services. We believe it's the first subscription model in the country for running a bus service so incredibly unique we'd never done it before we'd never even run a bus service let alone a subscription model bus service so yeah very very unique and there was a lot of learning to be done that's definitely definitely one thing that's come out of it but it's been hugely rewarding.